All right, so what do we got going on here, Missy? Well, we're gonna be starting our next project, and this project is something that it, it needs help in here. <laughs> it's it's kind of pathetic, um, and this is. Um, such a, a usable space that can be so good, so I'm excited, but what I'm going to be working on is redoing the laundry room and redoing this little half bath, but we're going to start with the half bath, so more details to come on the laundry room later on, but let's dive into the little half bath back here. Um, so, this is a little secret bathroom. <laughs> And we actually use this space a lot. What I'm really excited about is I found a vanity. This this vanity is a really weird size in here. It's 36 inches. Um, no, I'm sorry, 35 inches. And so I've had a hard time because standard vanities are 24 or 36 inches. So I was kind of thinking, gosh, I'm going to have to make one. But then, lo and behold, I'm at Lowe's and they had a sale on the on this really sweet little farmhouse vanity and it's 30 inches. So I just totally lucked out. I'm totally pumped. So first step is to get this little vanity out of here. We also have um, all this kind of, you know, storage built in little thingy here. Um, but I'm going to take this out. I love it. I don't want to get rid of it. I love actually having this little secret storage over here and I do like it's full. So actually a lot of stuff in here. So I'm just going to build something new to go in this space. That I probably will do the same thing, take it up to the ceiling, but I'll probably only have it come down to like maybe here, I'm thinking, probably something around like that. Um, and then this is like the world's smallest toilet on the planet. I know it's not going to show up on camera very well, but <laughs> it is so tiny. So my plan in here, new vanity, new mirror, new light fixture, new of this. And I'm gonna, there's, I know you probably, you can't see it, I'll show you guys later, but there's a little um, medicine cabinet here that's just wood, it's cute, I'll just paint that, keep it. I'm gonna get rid of this, and then I'm going to do shiplap halfway up the wall, it probably, mm, probably gonna go to about right there. I'm gonna frame out this window, do new blinds, I'm gonna take the shiplap up behind the vanity, and then down, well, it'll be on both sides here. So it'll be a half wall around, and then it will be um, shiplap all the way up the back of it. And then, um, because this vanity is going to be a little bit smaller than what's currently in here, so the shiplap I think will be cute down either side. And then the shiplap will just come around underneath this cabinet, around, around. So it'll kind of be a full surround of shiplap. I think it's going to be really cute. And then, this is like the most pathetic thing. <laughs> Out, it's the world's it's, worst trash uh, pocket door. It's trash. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's like the worst. <laughs> so, I'm not being dramatic. This is like legit. What's really funny is I don't is, think it will even close. I think my favorite thing is when we have guests come over and try and, and use this bathroom and down. they try and close it and you can hear it from the other end of it's the house. So <laughs> honestly so um that's gonna go so i've never removed one of those but yeah so i'll have to redo this casing here take out this door and then i think i'm pretty sure i gotta measure but i'm pretty sure that i can do a barn door right here that would be that'd be the ultimate that's what i would like to do or we could just do a, a bead curtain no <laughs> You know, no, a, a hippie no, bead curtain. I, I, no one would love that more as a guest bath. That than is that. a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, I think it's going to be really cute. We were just trying this morning to turn off the water to this um, to the sink in here, so that way we could pull out the vanity. And then the little knob broke. <laughs> so everything is so old. Like this is probably original to the house. So, like this is. This vanity is 40 years old. All the little stuff is probably 40 years old to it. So anyway, the little turn off knob to the water broke. So it's <laughs> dripping currently under there. That's why Mark, a, that's why Mark isn't allowed to turn things off because he breaks yeah. it. <laughs> you know what? We'll see what happens. But the plan is, oh man, you know, oh, well, I, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, because what I want to do, we're going to put in a new toilet in there too. 
And then with the new vanity, I'm gonna have to take up this flooring. I doubt that the flooring goes underneath those cabinets in there, Mark. What do you think? I doubt it. I, I doubt it. That's probably not. Okay. Well, so this whole thing <laughs> might just happen then. Who knows? We tend to we tend to start off with one project and end up, you know, modifying it <laughs> throughout the entire project. So the plan is, what well, these cabinets in here, all I'm gonna do, it's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna paint these white and then I'm gonna add trim on the inside of these so that way I'll have my cute little farmhouse X's. So I think that'll totally dress that up. And then same with these, I'll do the same thing on these. Actually, I'll probably, I don't know. These will just be painted white probably. I'll do the X's on those. And then um, I can hopefully build my barn door. And then here, what I'm thinking I'm a little nervous because on the other side of this wall is our hot water heater, so I can't really, I'm, I'm a little nervous to put stuff on this wall because I just, I don't know what will happen. <laughs> you know, just a little nervous. So um, what I think I'm gonna do instead is build a shelving um, something. I don't, I, it's just gonna be black, that's all I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna build a black something shelf that will hang from the ceiling and so I'll kind of avoid putting something on this wall. And then here, I'm gonna build a really cute, probably um, probably no wider than this. Yeah, it'll probably be this wide. Mm -hmm. Build a really cute little countertop thing and then something, I'm gonna, so that way I can hide a basket, you know, a laundry hamper. Because I do actually normally have a laundry hamper in here and I'll just move this over and put it behind here. So I just need a little a little countertop and somewhere to put that and then somewhere to put, you know, extra real life stuff like trash bags in. <laughs> real, real people things, okay? So that is, um, I think that's it. And then I'm gonna paint this door. And um, we did it, we already did a new light fixture in here. So I think that takes care of it. I think it's gonna totally, it's totally gonna change the space. It's gonna be so cute. I'm excited. So I still need to finish framing this door. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I will bring you guys along with me and show you the progress, but wanted to give you guys a quick little brief overview of where we're at so far. So let's get started. So, sure. Well, I don't know. You want to use it for another project? I don't. I don't know. We'll save what do you it. What guys think? Re repurpose, <laughs> reuse. Not a single crack. That's the first time I've done that without cracking one. Pure talent. Pure talent. <laughs> Watch as I break it on the. Oh way my down. gosh! Don't. Oh. Okay. So I will crack. This Let's just put it on the garage, where we just put everything. <laughs> everything goes out here. Okay. okay. Notice how she's doing it without her uh, gloves on. Like she's not supposed to be doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been cut so many times that I'm like super nervous about it, but Kylie's never been cut, so she's like, oh, I don't care. I'll use I have it. been electrocuted. So. Yeah, you have <laughs> been electrocuted. <laughs> so that's the part that I will, I get terrified. But yeah. Man, whatever they used here is like some serious business. Okay. Here, you want this one? Yeah, I like that one better. I'm gonna work on ripping all of this up. So we'll see, I'm gonna do it in stages here. Get this out and then work my way out. And you know, unfortunately it's just a messy, messy project. The easiest way that we found before, which you can get some adhesive remover, which I might have to try this time, but last time we did it and we just used water and um, Clorox. <laughs> Um, so both, both things I have around the house, so no big deal. I'm gonna try, I'll try that and then we just use a floor scraper and a little hand scraper and we just scraped the entire area. So our kitchen was a much bigger space than this but it did take us a very long time to get it all up um, and get it smooth 
and lots of cleaning and everything, but we made it happen. Okay, we're just working on getting the baseboards out. We got the toilet out. Gosh, this looks really horrible in here. <laughs> we got that out. We're gonna take this out. And um, we got all the baseboards out in here so far. See, here's, here's what you do with this flooring. You just kind of score it and then rip it up. And we have to get all of the adhesive up, which actually isn't too bad in here, but it looks really bad, but we have seen worse. Hi, you guys. Okay, so what you can see, we're making some progress here. Um, I haven't made that much yet. <laughs> We are getting all the adhesive up right now um, from the flooring. And the best way that we have found to do it, which, well, I guess is the only way that we've done it. <laughs> the only way that we've done it, but it works. Put a bunch of water all over the floor and kind of let that sit. And the adhesive will start to dissolve and then get, we have floor scrapers. So we just use the floor scraper to get everything up. That works really well. And then once we've got most of it up, if there's anything that's really difficult still to get up than to use some bleach and some yeah just use some bleach put that all over the floor do a final scrape and that pretty much the the bleach will dissolve everything else so you know there is adhesive remover that you can use we haven't tried those but this this works pretty well i mean yeah it's a pain and it's a mess but <laughs> but it works and then we just kind of as we go you know try to keep the area clean and and throw it out. Anyway, we're gonna keep at it. <laughs> Hi, okay, so I wanted to just fill you in on the progress that we've made on the bathroom and wrap up this kind of, oh, what do I wanna call it, bathroom, deconstruction <laughs> video and um, because we are going to be entering the construction phase the building phase the fun phase so let me show you guys where we're at so far oh everything's ripped out of here you guys saw we ripped this out um and now tonight i was working on patching all of the drywall in here i was going to rebuild a um, cabinet for in here, but I think I've decided that I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to leave it um, as is. I love how much it opened the space in here. I know you guys can't really tell, especially with my ladder in here. The other thing that we did this evening um, was I discovered that I needed to take out this medicine cabinet. The trim piece on the medicine cabinet butted right up against this wall, and I'm going to do shiplap on this wall. And so the shiplap was going to kind of stick out weird from it and I just knew that, that that transition was not gonna look good. Even if I tried to maybe cut around it, I just wasn't gonna be happy with the way that it looks. So thanks so much for being here, you guys, for hanging out with us. We're having a lot of fun doing this project and we're done with the demo part and now it's the fun, you know, design part. The part that I love the most and you know, it always has to get worse <laughs> before it gets better and it's about to get a whole lot better. So. Stick around, stay tuned, and we'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.